I watched every CS2 launch video on YouTube, find out if they really work. So we're gonna find whether they take our frames really to the moon or they do not. So first, I needed some systems. Thankfully, I do not have very good systems, which is quite useful because most people who are trying to get more FPS, they don't have a good system. So for my PC setup, I do have a very powerful CPU, but you can see I have a very heavy GPU bottleneck, like, like an RTX 3060 with a 7900. Then for my laptop, it's pretty entry level. Like I can play the game, but it's not going to be a smooth experience. So some of you might be having questions why do i have a 7900x 3d paired off with a 3060 to that i say i want two things in life one very interesting accent and two a 4090 and that is why this video is sponsored by easy voice wave just click on the link in my description and download the software and enjoy real time ai voices now you can be a girl can somebody drop me you can have fun using a lot of voices. We are throwing illegal Valorant players out CS2 folks, and they're going to pay big for Racknet, believe me. They also have a soundboard and custom voices, which can turn your in-game voice to sound really professional. So check out Easy US Voice Wave. So let me tell you the benchmark criteria and the rules we are following over here. The average sample size will be 10 for each launch option. If the variation is greater than 30, then we are going to bump up the sample size to 25 to get rid of outliers. We are going to be using the CS2 FPS benchmark map because it has nades, smokes, shooting and it's quite replicable. Then we'll restart the game obviously because we're using a launch option. One eternity later. Okay, Gary Selectman, welcome back. Let's see the average FPS for our computer. Over here, you can see five positive delta changes and five negative delta changes. Such a coincidence. But if you see at the positive change, the range, maximum range is plus 2.2 for no reflex. Whereas for the negative Vulcan one, we are seeing a very drastic change, which is a negative 69.3, which is a lot. I want to expand upon this further but let us look at the one person lows and if you see this chart this is much more compelling like you can understand that the no reflex option offering you kind of more frames and the violence edge blood seems to be doing the same when it comes to all except Vulcan I think all the benefits are being again done by no reflex because it's also added there then we look at the laptop and we find similar results again However, this time there is not a negative delta change in Vulcan, like not a drastic change. There's still that negative change, but it's not drastic. And when it comes to no reflex, again, we see a positive change and again, a positive change for violence edge blood. Then again, let's move on to the one person lows. And over here, we just have no reflex performing better by 0.1 frames and everything else is in red. I really don't feel like there is any need to add launch option. And if you really want to experiment with it, I have some more detailed findings that you can use and you can use these guidelines to check for yourself whether it works for you or not. Most times when you're using the minus high option, it will lead to more frequent crashes and it doesn't really help because you're messing up with your process architecture hierarchy. When it comes to minus thread, count plus one, which is talking about the logical processors, it is not going to decrease or increase your performance unless your well-performing cores are being fucked. That is saying, let's say if you have 128 cores, your game is not going to use all those cores to make the calculations because a lot of the calculations are done sequentially. So you need to keep that in mind. Unless you're parking the cores which are used for gaming, this option not really going to help you by increasing your count to plus one. Next up, we have Violence Edge Blood Zero. It will increase your performance by two or three frames and it will lead to a massive disadvantage in game because you want to see the blood. When it comes to no reflex, it's on feeling. Because it is beneficial when it comes to frame. I personally would run this actually launch option. So this is the only one which I'm going to take from my collection. And when it comes to minus Vulcan, you might be like, yeah, it's the most negative performing. And I think it will still be the most negative performing. But I would recommend you if you have a strong GPU and a weak CPU, try it once and even let me know the results. So we can say that all of these launch options are really not that good like none of them are really helping you except that of minus no reflex 